What's going on champs and champions, it's Monkey here, and with the release of Chapter 5 Season 2, Epic Games decided to switch up some things with how they do the Battle Pass. As you guys know in the previous video, I talked about how after you're level 200, as you can see I'm level 204 now, you're unable to claim the final variant that is a bonus reward for this season being Titan Flame Hades, and it's just completely unlocked, like, locked, right? It's impossible to obtain this at least right now, and it's going to be fixed in the next update. However, the bugs happening with the Battle Pass aren't continuing to slow down, because we have a brand new bug that got revealed today when they released the new set of quest rewards. Now for people who don't know, they're doing something a little bit different this time with quest rewards when you actually go into this page, you can see that page 2 and page 3 are currently completely unknown and they'll be added in future updates. And for example right here you can see coming in 14 days, over on this page for example you see coming in 28 days, however today they actually ended up releasing these set of quest rewards right here where you can earn a free style, a wrap, a banner, and a glider but they're impossible to actually do if you've been actively playing this season. Because as you can see here, complete weekly quests week 0 to 3, and you have to do a total of 20 to actually unlock these rewards. But if you look here, 4, 8, 16, 20, and they all relate to doing the first 3 weeks of the weekly quest, and they're just kind of unobtainable. And the reason why they're unobtainable if you've actually been actively playing the game is because if you notice here, I have 0 of 20, right? But if we go over to my quest menu, and we go out of festival, for example, and actually show this off a little bit better, and we go to our weekly quest... I have all the way up to week 5, or at least week 4, or whatever week we're currently on, completed. Every single week that it has released, I have done fully through, but at the exact same time, I've been unable to gain any of these rewards due to them requiring me to do week 0 to week 3 quest. And to kind of elaborate here and explain why this is even a bug, basically what's going on here is because of the fact that these quests were locked in the API and everything until now, it wasn't actually checking and tracking how many weekly quests you had done. It was only tracking after it actually unlocked it. So if you go on a burner account or something, do the Z week 0 to 3 quest, you will be able to actually unlock these rewards right now. They're not locked to everyone, but if you're actively playing the game and you just casually have already done these quests, all four of these rewards until a future update are currently locked, and it makes me wonder why we've been having a lot of these weird little bugs with the season i understand for example for the battle pass you know we've had things happen such as new instruments and stuff being introduced which has caused some little you know discrepancy in how many battle stars you actually earn but it's wild to see how they randomly decided you know what we're actually going to also do a brand new quest reward system and originally i thought it was just you know to them trying to be fancy and hide the bonus rewards that they add in future updates but seeing how instead of all of that they ended up doing this situation right here where it's like hey you know we time gated the first set of rewards that were related to weekly quests that you could have already done before, but because of the fact that we time-gated it, it's currently broken, it's just such an odd little thing for them to do, and I hope that this gets fixed soon, right? Because it's just a weird situation where we just see a lot of, you know, bugs happening here and there with the season that shouldn't really have happened in the first place. I get they want to do something new, they want to make the quest rewards a little bit more exciting or something, but if you're going to have these quests right here relate to doing the first three weeks of quest, you should probably make it available in those first three weeks so we can actually earn them, and we have a reason behind them. And if I actually go ahead and check the files right now, and we make our way all the way down here, and yes, I am actually going to show you guys me looking in the files, over to the quest reward section, which is in game features and everything, you'll notice that when it comes to the upcoming set of weekly quests as well, unless they actually fix this, they're probably also going to be broken. Because as we go down here, and as we go into the quest item category, we have battle pass quest rewards. As you can see right here, complete weekly quests, zero, week zero to three. But as we go to number two, it's weeks four to seven. Currently, these rewards are unknown, but it also goes up to a total of 20 quests and knowing the fact that these aren't coming for another around like 14 days so two weeks and knowing that by time it actually releases we're only going to be able to do week seven unless you just don't do any of your weekly quests is a little kind of just annoying because it means that as we continue getting more of these quests released to us even with the battle pass pages three being week eight to ten they're going to release on the final week where you're able to actually earn everything meaning that every single time they release these quest rewards it's going to have this exact same bug unless they do some type of fix and it really makes me wonder why they decided this was what they wanted to do for this season. You would think they would go ahead and have some tests going on internally to make sure the quests would actually work properly if they're going to change stuff last minute here, but I thought I'd just let you guys know about this because I have seen some people tweet about me on Twitter being like, Fire Monkey, we're unable to obtain these, and the reason why is because Epic Games just made a little bit of an oopsie, and this oopsie will affect upcoming weekly quest sets unless they actually go ahead and fix these within the next few updates, so hopefully if all things go bad and nobody's able to actually do these except for the few 
few people who don't do their weekly quests at all, Epic Games end up granting the rewards for free, but if they don't end up doing that, then, you know, I assume they're most likely going to fix it and retrospectively grant the rewards to people who have already done those previous set of weekly quests. But until next time, hope champs and champions enjoyed today's little short news video talking about everything going on. Hope you enjoyed the little bit of an aspect of me live looking in the files to show you the same exact issue is going to happen again for these set of weekly quests and these set of them because of the fact that, you know, it kind of adds a little bit of extra info to you guys that might be a little bit useful. And until next time, I'll catch you champs and champets a little bit later with another upload. Peace out.